If you love your games library here, but want to take it with you as easily as you can with this, you are in luck. The Steam Deck Portable Mini Gaming PC is here, and today we'll talk the ups and downs, and up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, the select start of it all. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, and welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and as an avid PC gamer, Steam's newest gaming handheld is the talk of the town right now. For any of us who've dreamed of having the power of our gaming rigs, but with the portability and form factor of a Nintendo Switch, the Steam Deck offers a really interesting value proposition. But is it all it's cracked up to be? Today, we'll tell you just about everything you need to know about Valve's Steam Deck. And if you find the information in this video useful, we ask that you kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips and tricks. Valve's latest all-in-one portable gaming PC is called the Steam Deck. Not to be confused with Elgato's Stream Deck, another very popular PC gaming slash streaming tool. Not like I've ever done that before. <laughs> To create the Steam Deck, Valve partnered with AMD to create a custom APU, or Advanced Processing Unit, a CPU-GPU hybrid optimized for handheld gaming. When it comes to controls, it's got a trackpad, gyro, haptics, and button and joystick placement design that makes sense in the hand, and you can even connect external peripherals if you want to. Valve has a full list of the tech specs on their site if you want to check them out, but the TLDR is, this thing looks to be a capable little powerhouse. But does it live up to the hype? Valve started shipping the first Steam Deck units to folks who pre-ordered ahead of time, and people seem to have spoken with a resounding, yeah, this thing rules. Due to the smaller screen size and an option to lock at 30 frames per second if you want to eke out more battery life, people have sung the praises of games like Horizon Zero Dawn, GTA V, Forza Horizon 5, God of War, and have even gotten smooth Elden Ring gameplay. Wait, what PC does that? Speaking of games you can play on the Steam Deck, it handles 2D low power games like a champ, as you might expect, but it's also surprisingly adept at the latest AAA 3D games. Now that we are talking higher end AAA games, we should probably bring up storage, since one of those titles alone could eat up 25% of your storage or more. The Steam Deck comes in a few different storage options, 64 gigabytes eMMC, 256 gigabytes NVMe SSD, which is faster, or 512 gigabytes NVMe SSD, the fastest, all at increasing price points of 399, 529, and 649, respectively. But built-in storage is not the whole shebang, as there is an option for expandable storage. Yay! This is expandable storage via a micro SD card. So if you're looking for a great option here, the Canvas Go Plus micro SD would be a great choice, just saying. All models of Steam Deck support expanding your storage via micro SD cards. Games stored on a micro SD card will appear in your library instantly. As PC builders and DIYers, which I know many of us are who watch this channel, expansion, upgradability, accessibility, and repairability are all super important, and Valve is actually encouraging users to upgrade. Valve published its own teardown video and is sending repair parts to iFixit for direct sale to consumers. You'll love to see it. Well, I love to see it, but you may too. So what's the future of the Steam Deck? Since Valve is allowing upgrades and hardware flexibility, we could see some really cool mods coming down the line. In fact, we've already seen people online install OBS and stream from it, use it as a work PC thanks to the built-in Steam version of Linux, dual boot Windows and Linux, or turn it into a portable media center. Regarding other future uses, we know for a fact that Valve is coming out with a dock in late spring 2022 to connect to external displays, wired internet, USB peripherals, and power. You can also use a USB-C hub if you've got one lying around, like maybe the Nucleum USB-C hub? With HDMI output, USB-A, SD, and micro SD card readers and power pass-through, that would work just fine. Whether or not you decide the Steam Deck is the right type of device for you, it's certainly an interesting challenger in the playing field that is today's gaming landscape. And I, for one, am all for more options for more types of gamers. If you've had a chance to mess with one, let us know your experience in the comments, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.